I'm doing my utmost to get started. Um, where to start? Where to start? To, to be honest, um, a little bit embarrassed by the performance tonight, if I'm being frank. It's um, aspects of our game, fundamental aspects of our game that should be an automatic are not an automatic. If you can't go out and sort of match effort and willingness and work rate and, and organisation um, and sort of pick up some of the, the soccer cues that we should be picking up then you and, and be able to run, um, you're going to struggle in this league and it's been a I think it's been a story all the season that we're kind of a team that seems to be waiting about for something to happen, whereas all the other teams would play up, roll the sleeves up and get out there and get on with it and make things happen. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's difficult to, to rectify when, you know, there are so many players that really, frankly, haven't played up to what our expectations been of them. Um, and you know that might be down to failure of me and, and how we've coached them, uh, how we've set them up. I don't, uh, I don't know, but it's just some of the, the fundamental things that we do or don't do um, are really coming back to haunt us. Uh, and I, an example of that is, you know, we've played against Sam Kerr numerous times now. We talk about her not getting in behind, and she's probably going to get in behind your defence once or twice in a game, if you're aware. But to get in seven, eight, nine times, it's just, um, stuff like that is just sort of, it's, it's unacceptable for the quality of players that we've got. Um, so it's, yeah, very, very disappointing. Disappointing for the fans, because we've got a great set of fans. Disappointing because if anything that you want to see from a team, you want to see, I know we use, it's an overused word probably, effort, but the, our effort just seems to be almost, well I say non-existent, very slow and um, it's just made us look so, so vulnerable and, and it's made us look like a very poor team. That's, that's the thing and I've got to apologise to the fans that, you know, as a coach I put a team out there that on, on paper looks high quality but has actually performed very poor and that's, that's down to me. So um, I apologise to them for, for how we've done particularly tonight. Um, yeah, so it's a really good question. The top question we have to answer and everybody has to look at is, is what we do looking forward to next year. Um, we can't have, as a club of this, well a club of any status to be honest, we, we can't have some of the the performances that we've had this year and that has to be rectified whether that's so that we can perhaps do that in several ways one is that you you change personnel um, one is that or the other is that you change your um, coaching philosophy you change your training regime and, and you do things differently to make the team effective the the, the difficult part I found this year is that when I look at our team compared to last year, uh, as I said on many occasions, I think we've, we've probably improved the quality of our team or our squad as a whole. Um, but we haven't got close to matching the performances that we've had last year. And then, so when I need to scrutinise my performance, I need to scrutinise players' performances, and then we need to sit down and say, this is what we think we need going forward. I would say that is more than fair to say, Adam. More than fair. How do you explain it? That's the difficult part. I don't know how to explain it, exactly how to explain it. Um, we've tried, we have honestly tried multiple things in, in training weeks this year to try and get exactly, or to try and stop exactly what you're talking about. But whether it's a confidence thing, uh, I, I don't know, that's probably part of it, but there just seems to be a reluctance to do stuff. To do, I, I mean, to be frank, apart from Danny Weatherholm, uh, probably Marta, I, I don't know 
I can't turn around and say any other player has played to the expectations that we've that, that we have of them. Um, and that's that energy, enthusiasm, doing things quickly. Um, I, so I, I, the answer is I don't know the answer. I, I see the problem that you're seeing, and it's 100% right. 100% right. The problem is that, um, as I say, we've changed the team, we've changed the formation, we've changed training, um, we've, we've changed how we've organised the week. Um, and it, and what you're talking about tonight and what you saw in the first half has been symptomatic of performances during the season. Not for 90 minutes, but for certain periods in the game. And when we have those uh, types of performances or those lapses or those moments of indecision or lackadaisicalness, I don't know if that's a word, um, we'll, uh, we seem to get punished for it lack of concentration, you know, you can throw out all those words. Do you know the answer? Again, change in personnel, change in training, change in philosophy, you know, that's what we perhaps need to do. No, I can't. Well, we, we kind of got on a roll, but we've never, to, to be honest, we've never really got on a roll. So that there's barely been a game this season where I felt we've been a dominant force in the game where we've had what I'd call a complete performance. Whatever game we played, there's been stages during the game, and every team, every team has those stages during the game where you have lapses. The problem is that when we have lapses, we have lapses. And again, whether it's concentration, organisation, decision making, lack of effort, uh, waiting for somebody else to do the your job for you, I, I really don't know. Probably a combination of all those things. And just when we felt that we had everybody back and that we were ready to go, we, we've, we've almost gone the, the wrong way. One of the things I don't think that has helped us is that the, the well, two things that I think have been um, perhaps responsible in a way is that when we've been dominating games, which we have done in several games, we haven't scored. And when we've been having times when we're not dominating games, we've conceded goals. Um, and tonight's a great example of that. Tonight probably typified um, kind of the, the season as a whole, in the sense that we were kind of shaking the first half, but we got over the shakiness. And you know, as we were getting into the 40th minute, we were actually starting to come into the game. We were actually starting to get some play. And then all of a sudden, within a blink of an eye, we're 2-0 down. Um, and it's it's hard to explain why that happened. So, apart from those factors that I said earlier, that that's the only answers that I've got. <laughs> it's extremely disappointing. I mean, it's more than disappointing. It's it's actually more than dis it's not just disappointing. Disappointing is when you go out and have an effort and get a bad result and things don't go for you. Um, Disappointing was season one here when we, you know, were scraping to put a team together to come into the league and, and go out in games against teams that were well organised and, and stable and had team, you know, had their team set and we were fighting away and battling away and quite often we'd end up losing a game by 2-1 or 1-0 or whatever and at every one of those games, probably for the last 15 minutes, our players had a real goal. Um, but that's been bereft of the, of the team for, for much of this season um, in a consistent basis. Whether we feel that we have too many star players, I don't know. Whether we need more what I call blue collar players in the team, I don't know. Whether we've got the wrong combination of players that's just not working together, I don't know. But we're still having eight or nine of the same players from last year. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, as I say, it, it's more than disappointing. Much, much more than disappointing. At this moment in time, I really don't know. The first thing that we need to do is, is sit back and say, what's the, best team, what's the best team to put out? We just have to approach it like any other game. That, that's the key. The challenge for the players now, and the challenge for our players, and, and for all of us, is that you know we're not going to be in the top four, and what kind of attitude and mentality are we going to actually go into that game with? Um, but as I say, for me, that. Or everything's on the line, and, and 
that kind of game in the sense of how we want to finish the season, how we want to be perceived as a team, how we want to be perceived as individuals, um, and how we as a coaching staff and management staff want to be perceived in the job that we do. Because ultimately I'm responsible for results. Um, and if we don't get results, it's my failure more so than the player's failure.